Oh, hi. I was just cleaning my 24-7 championship replica belt fast and the furious. Let me uh, tell you my history with this franchise. The year is 2001. I'm in sixth grade, maybe going into summer vacation. Uh, I weigh about 115 pounds. Uh, I'm wearing a New York Yankees fitted baseball cap backwards so I can look like Fred Durst because I thought Fred Durst was really cool. Speaking of Fred Durst, I hear that one of his latest songs, Rollin', is being featured in this new movie, The Fast and the Furious. So me and my friends get dropped off at the movie theater and we see The Fast and the Furious. I remember thinking it was okay. Uh, at the time, it seemed real familiar. And then years later, someone pointed out it's a Point Break re uh, ripoff. And I'm like, oh my God, it is. They swapped out surfing with street racing and robbing banks with stealing DVD players. <laughs> More on that in a bit. So yeah, I thought it was all right. It's very dated. It's, uh, the, the product placement is kind of ridiculous, uh, as with a lot of, uh, this still happens in movies, but the early 2000s, they did it a lot, and it was way more blatant. Uh, the beginning of this movie, one of the first few shots, is a shipping container full of Panasonic, uh, equipment. DVD players, TVs, stereos, anything Panasonic, you name it, it was in that shipping container. It's also a window of time where movies, like these big... Like, action movies had to have a goddamn popular song in every single fucking scene because they needed to sell an album. And they also had to feature at least one pop or hip-hop artist. So Ja Rule is in the movie, and he was also featured on the album. His song plays at the credits. Again, stuff you don't really see in movies too much anymore. Another thing you don't see, uh, the first Fast and the Furious just has a homophobic slur in the first 10 minutes. Don't see that too often these days. After that, I never had the urge to watch another one. I thought it was just all right. I think I saw the second. I, I know I've seen scenes of the second. There's a scene where they have like super guns and they're shooting into cars. I don't know if I've seen all of it. I might have seen bits of three. I definitely didn't see anything afterwards other than like, I think it was on at the gym on a TV once or maybe someone was watching it on a plane and I caught a little bit of it. That's my experience with Fast and the Furious. Going into Hobbs and Shaw. I saw, I saw Hobbs and Shaw. Only having really watched the first Fast and the Furious. Uh, so going into Hobbs and Shaw, this is all I know about the series that I picked up from just glimpses, trailers, things my friends say. So super street racer, theft gang, we're doing crime. And then The Rock comes in and he's like, stop that crime. And uh, he tries to beat up all the super street racer theft guys. And then, oh, so Paul Walker, maybe he's still a cop. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. But uh, he, he's fighting them and then they become best friends. And then I don't know what happens in the sixth one. And then at some point they become secret agents and they got to steal cars for America. And they got to stop that Jason Statham because he's mad because they they steal cars more gooder than him. And then uh, Paul Walker has a baby, I think. And he's like, I gotta go be a dad. No more car stealing for me. But in actuality, it's cause he died, but it's actually a pretty nice send off from what I hear. I've seen the Harambe meme of it like a million times, but I haven't actually watched the movie. Cause we're brothers first. Cause we're into a love and it ain't over. You'll always be with me. So then Fast and Furious 8, I think it was like, Vin Diesel, I gotta stop Charlize Theron, who I think is Jason St I thought it was Jason Statham's sister, but after seeing Hobbs and Shaw, I'm guessing that's not the case. And then I think The Rock didn't, doesn't like Vin Diesel. So in the same movie, I think there was like, him and Jason Statham are like, we're in jail. Gotta get out of jail and stop that dreadlock lady. And then I thought they became best friends. That leads us to Hobbs and Shaw. So this movie, again, everything I told you is everything I know about Fast and the Furious going in. So I was very, very confused at the first scene. Uh, the MI6 is trying to stop a super virus that is inside nanomachines. 
And uh, there's a pretty pretty lady who was in um, Mission Impossible, the latest Mission Impossible. She was the daughter of the arms dealer from the first film. Uh, she's all like, oh no, we're being attacked by cyborg Idris Elba. That's not good. He's going to take this virus. So then she puts the virus in her. Which is a lot, it, that's like a lot of movies. Uh, Mission Impossible 2 comes to mind, but I think there's other movies where the person, in order to prevent it from being taken, puts it in them. I feel like I've seen that a lot. So she gets away. Uh, originally, I thought she had the nano powers he did, but apparently that's not the case. So she gets away. Uh, they make it seem like she was a traitor and stole the virus for herself. So then they're like, hey man, we gotta, we gotta get our top two guys on this. So Ryan Reynolds? Shows up. Is he in the other ones? Is Ryan Reynolds in the other one? He seems like he might have been in the other ones. Uh, he shows up and he's like, hey, Rock, you got to go to England and get this girl before the virus gets out. Um, and then the Rock's all like, okay, I'll do it. Also, family. He brings up Samoa and his daughter is like, why don't you ever talk about your family? And he's like, it's just too hard to talk about my family. I got to go to London and beat up people now. And then another guy goes to Jason Statham and he's like, hey, your sister is actually a pretty lady spy girl and she's a traitor. You got to bring her in. He's like, oi, that's my sister, gov. Ain't no way she a bad guy. Crikey. That's Australian. Um, anyway, so they, they team up. They don't know they're teaming up until they meet each other and they have like a big fight. So I'm guessing they, like I said before, I thought they became friends on the previous movie, but I guess not. So it's your typical buddy cop action thing. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Uh, but it's kind of enjoyable. Uh, I wish I knew more about Shaw. Hobbs, I was able to piece together what his deal was. And they go more into his backstory in this. Uh, Shaw was a little bit more confusing because I know he was a bad guy. I'm not sure how bad he was. I d Did he murder anyone? I don't know. Uh, so I know he was like a really, really bad guy. And then he became this reluctant anti-hero good guy. Uh, but I was confused. I thought Charlize Theron was his sister, but I guess not. Apparently he only has one sibling and it's this blonde lady. And his mom is Helen Mirren? Was she in the other ones? I guess she was. I guess she was. Uh, so I was a little confused about that. Um, and that's my fault for not seeing the other ones. But then again, this is a spinoff. It should technically work on its own without having to rely too much on the main series, but I digress. The first Fast and the Furious movie. The threat of that movie is if these street racing car thieves steal too many Panasonic DVD players from truck drivers, truck drivers will start arming themselves and there'll be uh, gun violence on the highway. That is the threat of the first movie. This movie's threat, super secret uh, technology cult wants to use nanovirus to kill weak people and then turn the rest of the world into cyborgs. So some, all right, th that's where we began. Don't have truck drivers shooting people on the highway. Virus gonna destroy everyone and turn everyone into cyborgs. What happened here that got us here? That's all I wanna know. How did we get to that point? Uh, so they get the girl and they're like, all right, we gotta go to this facility. We gotta link up with a thief who's uh, Isaac Gonzalez who is the Selma Hayek character in the from Dust Till Dawn TV show. Very cute. Should have been in the movie more. She gives them weapons, and one of them is an atom, like almost an atom bomb. It blows up an entire facility, and the explosion just keeps going, and it's about this big. How is that not the most valued weapon in all of, like that would be a fucking bomb that's this big that you can hide in a purse and put anywhere, causing like a nuke size explosion? That should be the threat. Like what the, I know they're trying to stop a genocidal virus, but The Rock should be like, hey, you guys are bad guys. You shouldn't have this. Anyway, anyway, not important, not important. So they decide there's two options with the sister, either kill her or go to the Colts facility where they can use a machine that sucks the nano stuff out of her blood. 
So they try that, of course. Uh, there's a lot of fighting, the machine gets damaged, they have to leave, and they go to Samoa to hide. And uh, this is where you see Roman Reigns. And I don't think any of these people were related to The Rock, but like three of them looked like Rikishi to the point I thought it was Rikishi. Also, they kept saying the word Usos. And I genuinely thought the Uso tag team was gonna show up. It took me until they subtitled what he was saying until I realized Uso means brother pretty much. So I was pretty embarrassed by that. Anyway, it's like your classic, like super technology invading force versus uh, people just, you know, using old school methods and they have heart and you have technology. That's like one of the lines you've seen. You've seen it a million times like uh, pfft, Return of the Jedi Ewoks versus Stormtroopers. That's probably the best example of that. It's probably not the best example. There's probably a lot better examples. Uh, Conan the Barbarian. The three guys using traps and stuff to fight Thulsa Doom's army. That's probably a better example. And there's probably many, many, many more. So yeah, the Samoans are like, all right, we're gonna use our old school methods, spears and clubs and, and this and bombs and nitrous oxide and cars. I don't think those are old school methods, but fuck it, they, that's what they went with. Uh, and then there's a fun helicopter scene. And then the movie ends and everyone's happy and they're all best friends, kind of. They go from hating each other to uh, Jason Statham calls The Rock his brother, but then they hate each other again. So I don't know, maybe this relationship will evolve later on. As someone who only really saw and remembered the first one, I had fun. I had fun. I was very confused. I'm very, the world building in this really threw me off because I'm, the, what I started with is not where we are here. Uh, so that's on me. I probably should have seen how this universe has evolved. Um, like I said, I wish I knew more about Shaw. Hobbs is really good. Their chemistry together is pretty good. Uh, I, I'd see another one. I'd see another one. I do want to point out, um, I thought the big draw of these movies were the cars. Like, hey, look how cool this car is. You could have this car. Only Jason Statham, from what I could tell, had like a really cool car that you could probably buy. Everyone else had, oh my God. The bad guys had transformer motorcycles. I'm not making this up. They have, they, they're, they're cyborgs with super suits and their motorcycles transform. What? Uh, there wasn't a lot of like focus on cars that you could buy. There's cool car stuff in it. There's like a dune buggy. There's like a big truck race, lots of motorcycles. Uh, at the end, you find out the Samoans have a um, chop shop where they like soup up these old junker cars and they all look cool. It looks like Mad Max. The car chase at the end seems a lot like Mad Max, but they aren't really cars that you can like just buy. So I thought that was weird. I thought that was the big point of this series, but it seems like maybe they've even moved away from that. Uh, which is fine, I guess. Kind of makes the Fast and the Furious uh, name seem weird. But uh, anyway, I had fun. I'd probably see it again if it were on TV. I'm not going to rush out to see the sequel, but uh, I, I might see it at some point. So yeah, that, that's what I think. What do you think of my review of Hobbs and Shaw? Let me know. Let me know which Fast and Furious movies I should watch. A lot of people, I think, are saying start at five, ignore the other ones, I guess. Uh, so let me know what you think, what you think is the best one. Oh, I didn't know which one was Hobbs and which one was Shaw going into this movie. That was my biggest excitement. Like I avoided everything. And I'm like, I gotta figure out which one's Hobbs and which one's Shaw. And I'm glad I figured out it was The Rock is Hobbs and Jason Statham is Shaw. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, thanks to everyone who donated for this beautiful thing. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter for all my fun adventures with it. Check out uh, my Patreon, buy a shirt, and do all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, goodbye.